A wind farm consists of several wind turbines in the same location which are used to produce electricity. Wind farms vary in size from a small number of turbines to several hundred wind turbines covering a widespread area. Wind farms can be either onshore or offshore. The wind turbines are connected with electrical substation. The electrical substation is a part of power system in which the voltage is transformed from high voltage to low voltage or from low voltage to high voltage and distribution, protection and switching. All these actions are performed in a substation. The power transformer, circuit breaker, bus bar, insulator, lightning arrester, current transformers are CTs and voltage transformer or VTs are the main components of a electrical substation. Depending on the size, a wind power plant consists of many turbines. For effective monitoring and control, the wind turbines are grouped in loops. Each loop consists of almost equal number of turbines. For your understanding, this picture shows turbines loop for 50 megawatt wind power project having power rating of 2.08 megawatt each wind turbine. 24 wind turbines will be required to achieve 50 megawatt capacity. These turbines are grouped in four loops like loop A, loop B, loop C and loop D. Each loop consists of six turbines. The cable link for wind turbines is tricky job and wind turbines are connected in series connections. The generator voltage of all large commercial wind turbines are 690 volt. Paired mounted transformers are installed in bottom of all turbines to step up 690 volt to 33 kilovolt. These step up voltage can vary based on design requirements like these 33 kV could be 11 kV or sometimes 20 kV. This is also known as MV's level of the voltage or sometimes we, we call this as MV voltage. The cables from all loops travel to MV switch gear. We call MV switch gear also as medium voltage switch gear. The outgoing of MV bus bar is connected to HV transformers. The power from HV transformers travel to HV bus bar and from there power is exported to interconnection point. I will explain the layout of a typical wind farm with this drawing. I have also attached this drawing for your reference. The loops are connected to MV bus bar. An electrical bus bar is a conductor strip used for collecting power from the incoming feeders and export to outgoing feeders. In wind power plant, two MV bus bar are installed for redundancy. Loop A and loop B are connected with bus bar 1 and loop C 